Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Mark. And today we are going to explore Buckland Abbey, which is the former, did I say former? Mm -hmm. Yeah, home of Sir Francis Drake. Yes. Ready? Let's, Let's go. Do it. Let's do it. Wet day today, so instead of just staying holed up in the van, we're going to go out and explore. And I thought about us going to Buckland Abbey, so that's where we're heading. We've got an old yard cafe in London. It's a bit soon yet. <laughs> Too early. Too early. <laughs> Where are going? Uh, down here, I think. Straight to walk, kitchen garden, side of house garden, walk garden. we do the abbey first. A bit quiet. What's the route then? Yeah, old clouds. Short people. <laughs> Buckland Abbey is a 700 year old house owned by the National Trust and located between Tavistock and Plymouth in the Tavy Valley. It was founded as a Cistercian Abbey in 1278 and remained as an abbey until the dissolution of the monasteries by Henry VIII. It was sold to Sir Richard Grenville in 1541, who along with his son converted it into a residence. In 1581, it became the home of Sir Francis Drake, who lived there for 15 years and after his death, passed down through his collateral descendants until sold in 1946 and presented to the trust in 1947. Treasures. This is full of treasures. <laughs> <laughs> so Francis Drake facts. He was born in Tavistock in 1540 and knighted in 1581 and appointed mayor of Plymouth the same year. He circumnavigated the globe between 1577 and 1580 and returned with a cargo of spices and captured Spanish treasures. He died in 1596 after losing the Battle of San Juan and was dressed in his full armour and buried at sea in a sealed lead-lined coffin a few miles off the coastline of Portobello in Panama. See. So that the, was the Abbey Church. That's the original, is it? Yeah. And then this is what he did after? Yeah. So you're right, he took that bit off. Did he? This is the grand old chap. She's got a pearls on it. Go into the chapel and that's the 
through the tiger barn. People are throwing money in there. You yeah. You can go <laughs> jump in and have a cup of tea. <laughs> no. <laughs> Get money for a cup of tea. Sheeps. Sheeps. Quite a bit today. Some Francis, yeah? He was a pirate. He was a pirate, yeah. <laughs> Just at the end of the day, he was a pirate, wasn't he? Doors and the place that you took them to in France near the Pont de Is it Avignon? 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 Pope's Palace? Yeah. Mm. Skittles? There's one here, there's one there as well, Amanda, behind you. But you can try it, but don't slip. Where have we got to start from? Have anyway, got to throw it from here or? Yeah, I think so. Where did you get to? Well done. You've got, how many did you get? Seven? Six. Six. I get nine again. I Not bad, Ephraim. Not bad. Garden. Do the Do the We just got back to Indy, and Mark has left me a little smiley face from Harry Bow. <laughs> so we've just left Buckland Abbey and we are heading back to Tavistock where we're gonna park up and have a little wander around. Do we know anything about Tavistock? I think there's a river running through it. <laughs> cool. Cool. It could be the Tamar. Okay, do we know anything about Tavistock? Yes. What do we know? It's got a river running through it. Do we know what that river is? Is it it's either the Tamer or the Tavy? Tavy. River Tavy. Mm. Aha. There you go. You know something. Only one thing. Only one thing. Are we going to walk down there? Uh, oh, yeah. And we can see the bridge and the little falls look. Waterfall. Yeah. A weir. A weir. Oh, so is that a weir? Could have a salmon stick. Oh. Have a look. Looks like there is. Oh, is that where that is over in the corner? I would say that is, yes. Yeah. So that's fish can migrate back out to the sea and they help them by building in a, a less steep waterfall for them to jump up the reef. There's a pannier market here. Oh, look, Abbey Bridge. This ancient market town in West Devon is situated on the River Tavy and lies on the edge of Dartmoor. The Goosey Fair is an annual event held here in October and has existed since 1116, where traditionally you would have bought a goose to fatten up ready for Christmas. The butcher's hall's open today. I think the whole thing's open today, it's just the honey and market. Butcher's hall, look. <laughs> Hello. 
Mark's going mad at the chocolate counter. <laughs> and then we had one of the little bonus one, one recommended by the chef. What do you think? Oh, yeah, what's your favourite? The lemon cheesecake is my favourite, so you You need to get your card to pay. Oh, it was free. No, not free, eh? No, no. On our way to our third stop of the day, hoping it's still open. So we've made to Lidford Gorge and we've parked here, which is the waterfall entrance. And we're just going to have a little walk around here to the waterfall because this apparently takes a couple of hours and it's up as four and there's nobody here for any emergencies after five. So, yeah. Aren't we? Ooh, white lady waterfall. Did you go see a white lady about a waterfall? Thanks, lady. So the yellow is the white lady waterfall and the gorge trail and then the green is the bird hide and the railway path so they both join up so should we do this bit first we are the last visitors of the day <laughs> it's there on that map will they tell you the way to the nearest emergency Phone number, so there's A. Oh, there you go. See? Um. Yeah. Hey? Eh? We would have cut this out. Okay. We would have cut this out. With the railway line? Yeah. yeah. That's a lot of paper work. I wonder where the railway line was going. is the deepest river gorge in the southwest with a beautiful 30 meter high waterfall called the White Lady Waterfall. There are various walks from here and you can even follow part of the old Great Western Railway line that used to go from Tavistock to Launceston. If, I was going to say, if we're going downhill, that means that we've got to walk back uphill. Yeah, yeah. This is definitely fishable. Fishable, fishable? Yep. Yeah. I know, a wolf a dog, we would have loved that, wouldn't she? Ah, it's the River Lid, L-Y-D. The River Lid? Yeah, on there. Oh, okay. Which I've never heard of. <laughs> 
Ooh, what's that? Secret. <laughs> Let me get a look. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> Doesn't say. Does it say anywhere what that is? Falling down from somewhere. Where's that falling down from? Oh, the other side. Okay, so that's the bridge that you would cross if you wanted to carry on to the cauldron. Yeah. Come back to that another day. Another day, yeah. So. Oh, look, look. That's impressive. Oh, wow. I think we'll meet you at the top of the steps. <laughs> yeah. That was a lot of steps. You out of path, I'm out of path. Gosh. Lots of steps. Hey? Okay. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. We go under a bridge and we have a tunnel. Do we? Yeah. <laughs> we do, do we? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we do! <laughs> Did we walk over that a minute ago then? Yeah. yeah. That's what I was thinking about it at the top, but I said, it's a bit obvious. There's a path going there, it's like. Oh, okay. Busy day today. Let's show you the tea room down here. It's not open now, but there's a tea room down here. The tea room. Very nice. Yes. What? Oh, is that a llama or an alpaca? <laughs> They're eating stuff off the tree. Oh, they're on the other side of the road. Hi, so Indy's had a very busy day today. We've been on lots of adventures. We've been to Buckland Abbey, into Tavistock, and just finished at Lidford Gorge. So we hope you've enjoyed your day with us, and we will see you again soon. My lovely husband has very kindly cooked us <laughs> chilli for tea, because I've not been feeling that good since we got back from our um, adventures. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's a beautiful day. It looks better than the last two days. But it's just after seven o'clock in the morning and we're heading home to go to work. So I'm just getting rid of the rubbish. Mark is getting rid of the um, other rubbish. <laughs> so we are heading back to work. Ooh, ooh, ooh. After our long bank holiday weekend on the Dartmoor National Park, I just thought I'd give you a little bit of useful information about the site that we stayed at, which was the camping and caravanning club site at Tavistock. So it's about two miles outside of Tavistock um, in the park. And I think we paid about £29 for the night, each night, which with electric hookup and it had good facilities. It's quite a small, medium site, but it's really close to like all the walks and things like that. So I think we'll definitely come and stay there again. The only downside of it was it didn't have a motorhome service point. Um, so, but we got over that because we had a bucket, drained the grey waste into the bucket, etc. Et so we've had a great time. And if you've liked this video, then please hit the subscribe button. 